We're still in 4-3. We're still dividing polynomials. We're just using a different form or different method to divide our polynomials called synthetic division. So 4.3, dividing polynomials using synthetic division. Synthetic division is kind of a shortcut for dividing polynomials by binomials of the form x minus k. This shortcut is called synthetic division. This method is shown in the next example. So there's only a certain time that we can use synthetic division. You're not always going to be able to use it. We can only use it if our divisor is a binomial in this form right here. That's the only time we're able to use synthetic division. So if our k value is a positive number, the, bino the divisor will be a binomial that would be x minus a number. If our k value is negative, then our binomial will take on the form x plus a number. So if it's in one of those two forms, x minus a number, x plus a number, then you can use synthetic division. And we'll see that on the next slide, because after this slide we just have a few examples. So the first step whenever I'm trying to do synthetic division is to check my divisor see if it's in one of these two forms x minus a number x plus a number can I go ahead and move on okay just jumping into some examples divide negative x cubed plus 4x squared plus 9 by x minus 3 which one of those is my divisor x minus 3. Is it in the correct form for me to be able to use synthetic division? Yes, it's a binomial. It's x minus a number. So I am able to use synthetic division. Say that again. Negative x to the third plus 4x squared plus 9 dividing that by x minus 3. Do we all know what coefficients are? Can someone raise your hand and explain to me what a coefficient is? Isn't it the number? Or not? Which number? It is a number. It's a number in front of a yep, it's a number in front of a variable. So, what's my coefficient in front of x cubed? Negative one. What's my coefficient in front of x squared? Four. What's my coefficient in front of x? One. Uh, not not this x. Don't look at this for right now. I'm still talking about my dividend. What's my coefficient for x? Is there an x term? What did we do yesterday on long division? Zero. zero. So my coefficient for x would just be zero. zero. And then nine would also technically be considered a coefficient because we could write it as nine times x to the zero power. So it's still technically a coefficient, okay? So when we're dealing with synthetic division, we're mainly worried about our coefficients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list out my coefficients of my dividend. So we said they were negative 1, 4, 0 for x squared, and then 9. Just listing out my coefficients. This is going to look a little weird at first. But once you get the hang of it, it gets pretty easy. What would my k value be in this case? Three. Now negative 3 would just be 3. Because it's x minus k. Does that make sense? So that's what I was trying to say over here about k being a positive number. That's when it's x minus a number. If k is a negative number, then it's x plus a number. Does that make sense? So in this case, k is just 3. So like I said, this is going to look weird. Just follow along with me. I'm going to draw a little 
half box. And I'm going to put my K value on the left side of that line going up. Okay? So my first step, I'm going to bring down my first coefficient. And now I'm going to multiply that negative 1 by my K value. So what's negative 1 times 3? Negative 3. Negative 3. I'm going to put that negative 3 below my next coefficient. Now, in that column, the 4 and negative 3 column, I'm going to add those two numbers. What's 4 plus negative 3? One. Positive 1. It's going to go down there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with that 1. I'm going to multiply it by my k value. What's 1 times 3? Three? 3. Where do you think that 3 is going to go? Below zero. Below 0. Everyone with me so far? What do you think I'm going to do with 0 and 3? Add them. Add them. What's 0 plus 3? Someone's still with me. Anyone have any idea what I'm going to do next? Multiply 3 times 3. 3 times 3. What's 3 times 3? 9. 9. What's 9 plus 9? 18. 18. Believe it or not, I'm almost done. I just created my coefficients for my answer. Okay? What do you think is going to be my... My first term. You think it's going to be x cubed, x squared? We just divided. It's going to be x squared. I just divided x cubed by x, right? So that's just going to decrease it by 1. So once again, like I said, these are going to be my coefficients for my answer. So it's going to be negative 1 x squared plus 1 x, or just x, plus 3. What do you think I do with that 18? Not equal. What did we have yesterday that we had to make it into a fraction? 18 over x minus 3. There you go. 18 over x minus 3. 18 is my remainder in this case. <clears throat> and remember yesterday when we did long division, we put our remainder over our divisor. We're doing the same thing. Put our remainder over our divisor. And so... This is my answer. Right down here. And that's synthetic division. Okay? Does everyone see that? The more times you do it, the easier it becomes. So does anyone have any questions before we move on to the next example to get more practice? Okay, let's move on. Divide 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 5 by x plus 1. Okay, remember our first step is to check our divisor and see if we're even able to use synthetic division. What is my divisor? X plus, one. X plus one. Is that an okay form for me to use synthetic division? Yes. Now, if our divisor does not take on the correct form, then we have to go ahead and use long division. We can't use synthetic division any other time. Okay? So we are able to use it here. So what do I need to do next? Ring down my coefficients. So someone raise your hand if you can read off my correct co coefficients for me. 3, negative 2, 2, negative 5. Very good. Do I need to account for a 0 anywhere? Nope. I've got all my descending exponents already there. Someone raise your hand if you can tell me my k value. Negative 1. Because remember, it's in the form x minus k. So if I plug negative 1 in there, I would get back to x plus 1. So my k value is negative 1. 
So I put my negative 1 up here. What's next after I've got it all set up? Multiply what by what? Very good. I got to bring my 3 down. Multiply negative 1 times 3. What's negative 1 times 3? Where does that negative 3 go? Under my negative 2. What do I do with the negative 2 and the negative 3? Add them. What's negative 2 plus negative 3? Negative 5. Very good. Everyone with me? We all awake? We all taking notes? Have our phones away? Yeah. Go ahead and put it away, please. I'm taking notes. Are you? Interesting. Okay. That's fine. What do I do with that negative 5 now? What's negative 5 times negative 1? Positive 5. Goes below my 2. What's 2 plus 5? Negative 1 times 7. And negative 5 plus negative 7. Everyone kind of getting the process down. So can someone raise your hand and read off your an the answer to me? Very good. 3x squared minus 5x plus 7 <clears throat> minus 12 over x plus 1. And that'd be my answer. Now, if your dividend started as, say, 3x to the fourth, then your answer would start off as an x cubed. It's just decreasing by 1. Does everyone see that? So if it started as x to the fifth, your answer would be x to the fourth, so on and so forth. Because we're just dividing that first term by just x. So it's just going to decrease the exponent by 1. Okay? It just so happened that all our examples have x cubed that we're starting off with. So I wanted to make that clear. Any questions so far? Yes? Uh, how did you get that uh, negative 1 for k? So we get our k value from our divisor. It takes on the form x minus k, right? So I need a value that when I plug it in here, I get my divisor. Okay. So could I just plug in 1, positive 1, and get to k plus 1? No, because that would just be k minus, or x minus 1, right? But if I plug negative 1 in, I would do state change change, and that would turn to x plus 1, right? So you're essentially just using the opposite sign of what's here. Okay. Like on this example, it was a minus 3, we used positive 3. In this case, it was a plus 1, so we used negative 1. Just use the opposite. Any other questions on example 2? We good? Okay, we got two more examples. Divide using synthetic division. We have x cubed minus 3x squared minus 7x plus 6 divided by x minus 2. I'll let you go ahead and try this one on your own, and then we'll go over it. So be working on number 3 on your own. Is this what everyone's getting for their coefficients for the dividend? 1, negative 3, negative 7, 6. Okay, what do we get for our k value? Positive 2. Once again, that's x minus k up here. So our k value is just 2. Bring my 1 down. What's 2 times 1? 2. two. What's negative 3 plus 2? Negative 1. Everyone got that so far? 2 times negative 1. Negative 2. Negative 7 plus negative 2. Negative 9. 
2 times negative 9? Negative 18. 6 plus negative 18? Negative 12. Very good. Everyone getting that on their paper on their own? Anyone have any questions if they made a mistake? So raise your hand if you can give me my answer. Someone who I haven't heard from today. Anyone else? Go ahead. X squared minus X minus 9 minus 12 over X minus 2. Perfect. X squared minus X minus 9 minus 12 over X minus 2. Everyone get that for your answer? Not too bad? A little easier than yesterday? Can I erase and move to 4? <clears throat> Number 4. 2x cubed minus x minus 7 divided by x plus 3. Go ahead and try this one on your own as well. Okay, raise your hand if you can list the coefficients of our dividend for me. Very good. 2, 0, negative 1, and negative 7. Once again, <clears throat> we need to account for that x squared term still, just like we did yesterday with our long division. So we just use a 0 as its coefficient. And what do we get for our k value? Negative 3. Negative 3. Very good. Everyone getting that? Any questions? Okay. Bring my 2 down. It's negative 3 times 2. Negative, negative 6 goes below my 0. 0 plus negative 6. Negative 6. Goes down there below the line. Negative 3 times negative 6. Positive 18, which goes below my negative 1. Negative 1 plus 18. Positive 17. Goes down below the line. Negative 3 times 17. Negative 51, which goes below my negative 7. And then negative 7 plus negative 51. Negative 58. So raise your hand if you can go ahead and read off the actual answer to me. Ariana. Um, 2x squared minus 6x plus 17 minus 58 over x plus 3. Perfect. There's my answer. Any questions on that one? When's the only time you can use synthetic division? Do what? But the, the divisor is in a certain form, right? It's in the form x minus k. So x plus a number, x minus a number. If your divisor takes any other form, you have to use long division. Okay? Do you keep repeating that to the homework assignment where I have to use long division sometimes? Say that again. Do you keep saying that because on the assignment we have to use long division? Today's assignment, uh, you'll be able to use synthetic division the whole time. But just for future use, if it just says divide these two polynomials, you just need to know that. So that way, if it is a binomial in that form, you can go ahead and use synthetic division and make it a little easier on yourselves. And then if it does not take that form, don't try to use synthetic division because it won't work. Okay? That's just why I keep repeating it. Any other questions? Can I move on? Here's our assignment. Page 187, numbers 11 through 18 all.
This will be due Tuesday the 12th on Canvas. Don't forget, yesterday's assignment is due on Monday on Canvas. Today's assignment is due on Tuesday on Canvas. So make sure you get this written down. Make sure you get the correct heading on your paper. Name, date, period, assignment in the upper right-hand corner. And get this written down so I can get the book page up onto the board. Does anyone have any final questions before I stop the recording?